Hey guys, as some of y'all may be aware, Lowe's is closing some of the stores around the country. 10 or 20 of them or something like that. And one of them just happened to be ours. Uh, just luck of the draw, I guess. This store never made them a lot of money. Fairly new. They should never have opened it to start with. There's just not that much construction around here. But their mistake, not mine. And what they've been doing is marking everything down. They went week by week, 10%, 20%, 35%, 50%. They're in the 50 right now, and they got two more days to be open to this weekend anyway. Got three or four more days, and then they're going to shut the doors for good. And they're on the 50% right now. While it was 35% off, uh, I believe in that old saying, pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. And I didn't want to be too greedy, so I went down there and got 10 bags of black cow compost, some miracle Grow pot mix, some stay green, and I got... 10 bags of peat moss in here. This is a 35% off. Y'all know with the big greenhouse I got a lot of containers. Uh, a lot of stuff that's going to be need to fill up in there. So I need this stuff pretty bad. And I really hate to have to pay full price for it. This is just a blessing right here. I, I can't tell you to get this stuff at the price that I did. So the 50% off rolled around. And I went down there. And they got these 40 bags right here of uh, the Stay Green Moisture Max Pot Mix, 50% off. That's some pretty good stuff right there with the uh, Moisture Max helps to hold the moisture in and my containers and stuff won't dry out quite as fast, uh, hopefully anyway. I made another trip and uh, just parked the trailer down there right close by, went inside, told them what I wanted, wrote out my list, went up front and paid for it and came back and handed them the receipt. You got 20 bags of the 3 cubic foot peat. You got 20 more bags of uh, the moisture stuff, pot mix, and 20 bags of black cow. All that was 50% off. And throw in another 5% for the uh, commercial discount. Uh, it was over half off. And I think that's a pretty good deal. It ain't nothing like some of that stuff where Minbound goes into Walgreen with $20 and some coupons comes out with $50 worth of merchandise and still has his $20 in his pocket now. I don't know how and where he does it, but the man knows how to shop. So this wasn't quite a steal like what he did, but at 50% off and the amount of stuff that I was able to get, this is just awesome right here. In addition to all the pot and mix and stuff, you know I need some uh, other things in there as far as the greenhouse construction goes. Here's my conduit some of this was 35 percent off i know about the half inch at 50 percent off that's what i'll run my wires inside the greenhouse the three quarter i'll put that to bury my lines underground there's my one inch conduit for running some more purlins to uh hang some of my strings from so when the time comes and get the greenhouse finished up start filling up all my containers i got all of this stuff on hand i just need to get my my horse manure compost mixed uh, sifted through and ready to mix in with everything and uh, we'll be in business. Well I hate to see Lowe's go like that but that's just the way business goes sometimes. You get in an area that just can't support the sales and it doesn't work out and you got to close up. So they're gone now. I was able to get uh, the lumber for the new greenhouse. Most of that at 20 and 35 percent. Uh, I got the fence rail that I use for the purlins in the top for the uh, structural support, I got that at 35% off, as well as uh, a bunch of miracle Grows, some organic stuff, uh, different bone meal, and um, lots of things that I normally probably would not have bought just because of the price, but when they're down there at 50% off, uh, it becomes um, pretty interesting. So right now we're like uh, two days before Thanksgiving. Today is Tuesday. Turkey Day is Thursday. Uh, got plenty of clouds, rain around for the next day or so. Warm temperatures though, so I'm not having to run the stove and uh, worry about burning up wood at night time. So what I'm going to do right now real quick, we will just show you all around some of the things that are going on and some of the things that I have done and get you up to speed real quick. Okay, the obvious thing, the tomatoes right here have done pretty good. That's a whole lot of tomatoes to be picked right there. I'm going to get a bucket shortly and go ahead and start picking off a lot of these things. And with Thanksgiving coming up, i got a lot to be thankful for. And one of the things is being able to share with other people. I'm extremely thankful for that opportunity. And that's what I'll be doing here shortly. 
these are the determinate Rutgers and they have ripened up pretty quick here in the last 10 days or so looking real good most of the blossom set has uh, stopped up top so I think uh, I'm right on schedule trying to get everything made in here by Christmas I got about five weeks to go to try to get all these tomatoes made and then I'll be in a position where I can get it all cleaned up but they look real good so far right here we just got all kinds of peppers right now these are the camelots and some sun brights just loaded down right here we're starting to make some of those tyria cucumbers t-y-r-i-a it's an english type cucumber grows about a foot give or take uh... perfectly seedless and that one hanging nice and straight looking real good this is the first of the hinds 1439 to ripen up i've got seven vines right here that are just full of tomatoes a quick update on the new greenhouse i got the rest of the double channel installed and i was able to come back at the bottom and since i got the lumber at such a good price rather than going with a two by six i was able to get two by tens which would help out as far as maybe building a bed on the inside on the end walls or the end hoops got my single channel already installed ready for the plastic this is the east end framed up got two 25 inch openings up there to accommodate a uh, two 24 inch exhaust fans I'll put my door right over there and a window over there what I did for my purlins was use the inch and three eighths top fence rail for the chain link fencing I got one row on each side of that for the structural uh, strength and then down closer toward the center part I just got a hundred foot of one inch conduit then I'm going to uh, be using that to string up tomatoes and cucumbers so I got just a little bit more work to do and then I'll be ready to put my plastic on I talked about the inflation blower recently in between these two layers of plastic and I had it pulling air from inside the greenhouse hot moist air going in between the two layers and that's probably not a good idea just uh, going to start building up condensation so what I have now is just the adapter hooked up with the hose and it comes out to this little opening right here and I can control how much airflow is actually going in between the two layers working out real good this is doing real well you can see how far down you got to go before you get to the uh, next layer of plastic where it's inflated I wish I had done this from the start but if I had I wouldn't be able to appreciate the difference that it makes right now I start all my plants myself uh, I very seldom will ever go anywhere and buy a, a plant if I can get a seed for it and right here is a bunch of tomatoes that I have going on I got five or six different varieties in there that would be going in the new greenhouse along with some peppers and uh, a few eggplant in there basically all I have right here is uh, a tub inside of a tub I got the old style heat mat up on the bottom of it or heat pad the one with a the thermostat low high medium that kind of deal the newer models they will cut off after a certain amount of time this one right here won't so I can set it on low and keep it running all night long working out real good I just fill this up with some uh, seed starting mix take some mini blinds and uh, cut them up in strips to segregate uh, different areas inside here and put my seed in it works out really well and as soon as all of these tomatoes and cucumbers and squash done up in this first greenhouse I'm gonna make the transition to the cold crops and here's some early Jersey Wakefield cabbage and some Italian sprouting broccoli right here I prefer to have some Pac-Man but I don't have any seed right now and I keep forgetting to order it so I went ahead and stuck this in alright guys that's gonna pretty much do it for now I kinda got everything up to speed up to date so to speak hopefully by the next time uh, y'all see anything about the greenhouse it'll the next one it'll have the plastic on it so we got two days before Thanksgiving now and I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody who watches these videos that I do that comments, support, subscribes that uh, sends me the messages of uh, support and encouragement I appreciate it a lot uh, I try to give back as much as I possibly can uh, what y'all give me uh, there ain't no price that I can put on it you can't 
you can't put a dollar amount on emotion. You just can't do that. You can you can put a price tag on tomatoes, peppers, seed, that kind of thing. The support and encouragement that you give to somebody, uh, that can't be bought. Okay, folks. I got my helper, and we went ahead and picked the tomatoes. I got 38 pounds of big beef and Rutgers right here. And those are some beautiful tomatoes. Absolutely beautiful. Here's that one big terrier that I had out there. I'm going to take that to a lady locally that gave me the seed for the English cucumbers that I grew this year. Uh, Miss Carol, if you see this, I'll see you sometime in the morning. That's what you get right there. When you grow them inside a greenhouse, you can leave them on the vine until they get fully ripe. You don't have to worry about bugs and birds and critters messing with them. That kind of deal. So when you go get that tomato, you know she's ready to go on a plate and on a sandwich somewhere. So again, I appreciate it from everybody. And I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And God bless you. And I'll see you next time.